everyone. I hope you're all well. And today I have for you another 12 by 12 layout with a bit of a vintage feel to it. Well, at least I think so anyway. So like I normally do, you can see all my papers spread out. I went looking for papers that I might like. I haven't really decided on what papers I'm going to use, but they're all out there. And I also got this kit from, embellishment kit from Scrubbing Fun Kits. And it is absolutely gorgeous. But I believe that on this layout, I only use the lace. So I've speeded this up so you can see my thought process. But originally I thought I was going to go with a pink, pinkish feel to this layout. But it doesn't really quite work out. And then I saw the lovely grey paper which sort of looked like a wood grain effect and I fell in love with that but I didn't like the bicycle down the bottom so I went oh I can't use that then I thought oh purpley theme and I pull embellishments in and I pull embellishments out and I have no idea what I'm going to do so as you can see I keep going back to that lovely paper with the bicycle so even though I don't want the bicycle I'm going to make that paper work for me my mind is made up and I definitely want to use this lovely paper with the bike on it. So I pull out this um, Kaisercraft 6.5 inch pad and it's called Memory Lane. So I'm definitely going to use this 6.5 inch piece of paper and this other one that I just showed you. And I'm going to use them to match my photo. So my idea is finally starting to form in my head and I love this paper from Fab Scraps. It's uh, called Lady Evelyn. My only complaint is that it's quite thin. So I am going to give it a coat of pleat gesso just to give it a bit more strength and I will probably do some mixed media further down the track. So now I am giving my photo its first mat and I only wanted a small mat for the first one. And I'm going to be inking it with the Memento ink in grey flannel. And then I'm going to attach the photo to that second piece of six and a half uh, paper that came from the Memory Lane book, paper pad, I should say. And I will also ink that because if you know me, I love to ink my edges. And this is how I'm going to use this beautiful paper from Fab Scraps. It's called Simplicity. And I thought, well, I don't want the bike but I can use it as another match behind my photo. So this will be layer number three. And of course I'm going to ink up and I'm using that same grey flannel ink. And in the end, I really, really like how this all comes together. As I mentioned earlier, the paper was quite thin. So what I did was I started looking through my stash and pulled out different cardstock that I could use behind it. And in the end, I settled with this sort of the uh, it's not grey and it's not purple. It's sort of in between, could you call it? Purpley grey. I don't know. It was absolutely beautiful and it just suited the lavender paper so well. I'm now trying to work out how I want to embellish this layout. I do love that crochet doily, but it doesn't make it onto this layout. And neither do those lovely little flowers that I put there. But in the, that lace, yes, that lace stays. I'm absolutely in love with it. That came from the Scrapping Fun Kits. And then I thought, oh, I want to add a doily. But the first doily that I added was just too small. And I love the large doily. That actually stays. Once this layout started coming together, I realised that the lavender paper was just a little bit too harsh for my liking. So to tone it down and make it that little bit softer, I'm just using some gesso. And at first I applied it with my finger and spread it around. But then I go in with the dry brush technique and that softens it up even more. And just by using a, um, a baby wipe, I can then spread it a little bit easier. Now remember that this is easier to spread and blend because I do have the, the clear gesso behind it. So you will notice that I'm not actually adding the gesso right to the edges of the paper. I just want to soften just around the edges of the where the mat all is. And it just adds that sort of dreamy effect that I'm after. So here it is, what it looks like with and without the gesso. And I'm now going to do that famous packaging technique. The colour that I'm using, it's a Distress Oxide and it's called Shaded Lilac. 
So all I'm really doing is I'm putting down some ink on some old packaging and then I spread it with some water and plop it all down onto my onto my paper there. Now um, what I did was in the end I had to do like three layers because the shaded lilac was actually quite soft. So by giving three layers I got the desired effect that I wanted. So I'm doing some stenciling and the stencil that I'm using is from Kaisercraft and it is called Spotty. So I don't want my stenciling to go everywhere. That's why you see me bringing the photo in and out because I only want hints of stenciling, if that makes sense. I don't want it to go everywhere. And this little tool that I'm using, I've got no idea where I got it from, but it's absolutely perfect for when you only want a hint of stenciling and it really controls or lets you control where you add your stenciling. The flare that I added to the right hand side of the photo that is from the Cocoa Vanilla and it's the Love Always collection. And then in my stash I found these Diamonte borders I guess you could call them and I went yes this will be perfect for this layout and the sad thing was I didn't even know I had them and I don't know how long they've been in my stash but I'm glad I came across them. This Diamante border just brought everything together and I'm so in love with it. These sequins that I'm adding to this layout, they are in the shape of a flower and I actually got them at a junk store somewhere and they're absolutely beautiful. So I'm just sticking them down with some glue and don't worry, I don't make you watch the whole process. I am now using my uh, Distress Crayon and the colour is Shaded Lilac and I'm just colouring in the title of this layout which is going to be breathtaking because she does take my breath away. I should mention that the um, breathtaking is a chipboard word and it's from Fab Scraps as well. I just love how that looks and it's just the perfect shade of purple. This is another piece of chipboard that's got lots of lovely little butterflies and this one's from Courtier Creations. So I'm just colouring in these smaller butterflies with that same shade of purple. The rest of the butterflies on this chipboard I actually want white but what I'm going to have to do first is I'm going to give it a coat of gesso so that whatever medium I put on it I know it will stay true white. Without the gesso over the chipboard, it just won't, it will just come out grey or some dirty colour. And a close up of the butterflies. So now I'm going to take my breathtaking sign and I'm going to heat emboss it. So I'm using some embossing ink here and then I will go in with my clear embossing powder and just sprinkle it over the top. And then, of course, I'm going to use my heat gun to melt all that juicy embossing powder and it's going to leave this lovely shiny breathtaking title. I just love how that looks and it just brings the whole layout together. Now I'm going to do exactly the same procedure but to the little purple butterflies and I'm just using the clear embossing powder and letting it melt with the heat gun. For the featured butterflies on this chipboard, I am adding the embossing ink with the brush because it's got all these little hollow little things and when I add my medium, I want to make sure that you don't see any of that grey chipboard. So that's why I'm using the embossing ink with a paintbrush. And here I am, I'm adding the Perfect Pearls and I love this colour. It's called Pearl White, I believe. I hope it's Pearl White, but you'll see it anyway. I'll show it at some point. And I'm just dusting it on and it just gives it this beautiful, dreamy, romantic, vintagey look. I wanted to add some colour to the centre of my butterflies. So I'm going in with another Perfect Pearls, but this colour is called Forever Violet. And all I'm doing is I'm just using a small brush, going down the centre of the butterfly and then just uh, blending that out with my finger, just so it's not just one harsh line of purple. I just love how this looks and I'm really happy with how this layout came together. I'm just adhering my chipboard down now and the rest of the paper layers were 
a heat down earlier on off camera. And then I found this lovely little banner. It says, you are my happiness. So I'm just inking it with some of that grey flannel ink and putting it down. And that was from one of the Reject Shops die cuts. Absolutely perfect. So here are some close-ups. And I'm signing off for it. Signing off for another week. So anyway, I hope you all enjoyed my process. And until next time, I hope you're all well and taking care of yourselves. Bye, everyone.